Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's build is a special one because we're building in the brand new world of San Sequoia that came with the brand new expansion pack, Growing Together. I am so excited to finally be uploading this video. For whatever reason, I kind of struggled on this one. I think it was mostly a landscaping issue, but I'm glad that I got it out. I was like really nervous that it was just going to take me forever to get this build out and not that it would be like irrelevant by the time I'd get it out because I feel like at least in my own personal opinion, growing together expansion pack content is going to be very fun to watch for a while since it is still so brand new. I feel like even in a couple of weeks, I'm still going to be wanting to watch a lot of different speed builds and let's plays and just any kind of growing together content, I guess. So I, I'm not too worried about it not being relevant by the time I get this video out. But at this point, I believe the expansion pack has been out for not quite a week yet. It came out last Thursday and today is Tuesday while I'm recording this voiceover. But I just finished this build this morning. I'm very proud of it. The color scheme isn't exactly what I was envisioning my first build looking like, but I kind of went in a different direction than what I'm typically used to, which I was actually fine with, but I can't wait to use some of the other swatches that came along with this build catalog. I love the front door swatches. Oh my God, the giant front door that we do end up using for this specific lot. And then the small one here that we just kind of messed around with. Oh my god, they're so adorable. I love how they have like that little almost like shelf to them. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very craftsman-y, of course, as this entire um, pack is kind of based around is like the craftsman style in San Francisco, you know, not just San Francisco, but specifically the Bay Area. There's just lots of craftsman homes and I really like it. I've been messing around with the gameplay quite a bit as well. I actually moved in my sim self and my own little family here so I could properly play test some of the infant items and things like that. But we are at 23 Eucalyptus Lane. This is the 30 by 20 lot and the build ends up coming out to 77,761 simoleons. Lots of S's in that. But if you do enjoy this build and you'd like to download it for yourself, it will be available on the EA Gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Ashley Angelina, spelt with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. You can also find it under the hashtag Ashley Angelina, spelt the same exact way. All of that info will always be linked down in the description box below. But I was thinking that this build would be really nice and ideal for a set of parents that are expecting their first baby any day now. So there is a nursery along with a bassinet in the primary bedroom. And then there is an extra bedroom that I was originally going to make for another kid, whether it was a teen, a child, something along those lines. At first, I wasn't thinking that this was going to be, you know, a brand new family of three, but as I was building, I was just like, you know what? I feel like we can do it. We can make this extra bedroom a guest bedroom since we do have the stay over function now. I forget exactly what it's called, but I want to say it's like literally like setting, setting up like a stay over or something like that. I could be wrong, but I have done it once. And then my sim was like, hey, I'm family. Can I move in? And I was like, you know what? That would actually be kind of helpful with a new baby. So I didn't really get to play around with that function of it too much, but I've had a lot of fun with the pack so far, but back to the family. So I was thinking that, like I said, it's a set of parents that live here and I love these brand new appliances, specifically the range hood and the stove are just gorgeous. I love the gold accents, like the fixtures on the appliances. I'm not typically one that's like all for gold when it comes to fixtures and things like that. I am a little bit in the Sims, but in real life, not so much, but if I had these appliances in this color, I would be so down for it. I don't know. There's just something about like that off-white color with like the gold fixtures. I don't know. It just, it's really pretty. And it kind of gave me the idea that I'm thinking, you know, this is a rather gourmet kitchen. I think that it would make most sense for one of the parents that lives here to be a pastry chef. I've never really put that into any of like my gameplay. I mean, of course, there's no real pastry chef 
in The Sims. I mean, you can have the cupcake machine, the cupcake factory thing in your builds, and you could pretend that they're pastry chefs in that sense, like have them make cupcakes and all that. But I was just thinking more specific. I didn't want to be like, oh, just another chef lives here because I often do that. I love playing around with that specific career and I was just thinking that we could mix it up and just make it slightly more I guess specific and not just so broad like oh they're a cook or oh they're a chef like I was thinking pastry chef and I just feel like with the crispness of like all of the details in this build but specifically this kitchen I don't know just something about it made me think pastries and baking more than like cooking if that makes any sense so we do end up placing what is it it's like the little pastry I don't know um cake stand kind of thing like it's all the pastries that are on display I want to say it's from cool kitchen stuff right here that we're placing behind the sink I just thought it was a nice little focal point for the island here and then we're just adding some clutter i do need to figure out exactly what's causing routing issues for the microwave though i think it might be the bread box on top of it but i've never had issues with things being on top of my microwave before so it might actually be i end up placing down the little set of canisters i want to say from not cottage living from the country kitchen kit i think is what those items are from but anyway i'm thinking that's what it is but i actually did already upload this build to the gallery so if you guys are having issues with the microwave which you probably will because i had issues with the microwave it's probably just the canisters that i placed down i do end up putting them just a little bit closer to the microwave so i'm kind of thinking that's what the issue is but as you can see, we're just cluttering up a little bit. I was having issues with having the cabinets above the range hood look good. So we just ended up using a shelf and I just cluttered it up a little bit with some mugs, some plates. Um, I think a little bowl of oranges or apples or something. I was just thinking that since the sim that would be utilizing this kitchen the most and like experimenting with different pastries and desserts and things like that. Um, a fruit would be just a perfect addition for this little area here and then I'm loving these brand new chairs from the pack they are so cute I don't even know what you would really call these they're not wicker but I don't know they just have that nice like modern yet boho look to them like slightly contemporary I don't know I'm really bad when it comes to kind of describing what genre things kind of like category items fall into especially when it comes to furniture but I feel like it kind of works for all of the above. Like it's slightly modern, but definitely more boho. But I don't know. I could also see it being like slightly mid-century. Like you guys let me know if you agree. But if you know like the exact category that those chairs would fall under, please comment it down below because I'm horrible when it comes to stuff like that. But just placing down some more of the new items. Over here, I end up having just like a base game console table and then I placed down these suitcases because like I said I was thinking that the sims that live here are expecting their first child any day now and I know that when my son's due date was near I made sure our hospital bags were packed they weren't at the front door but they were like ready to grab and thankfully they were because I went into labor in the middle of the night on his due date and I was just really happy that I had everything ready because having to pack when you're really flustered like that is not ideal. So I was thinking that this family was prepared and they're just like really eager for the arrival of their new and first baby. So they have the suitcases ready to go at the front door for when they need to head out to the hospital. And then now we're just adding in some wallpaper. I wanted this home to come off as like it's not ideal like or not ideally it's not necessarily brand new but it's been renovated so we have some different kinds of wallpapers here we have this nice new standalone sink from the pack that i think is gorgeous all the swatches are amazing i personally really like this blue swatch and it has like the black fixtures on it i believe right black fixtures and I love also the new wallpaper with like the herringbone style tile. Oh, it just looks so good. That rhymed too, by the way. That that sounded really weird when I said it. No, they're gold fixtures. I don't know why I thought they were black. But I think, I was going to say, I feel like maybe we use like a different swatch upstairs, but I'm pretty sure we use the same one. I could be completely wrong. But anyway, I'm just adding some light switches from the bathroom clutter kit on the walls. I 
want to start adding those in more frequently, but I also don't want it to affect people that don't have the the um, kit. But also at the same time, if you don't have the kit, then there's just no light switches there and you can replace them with the ones from base game. The ones from base game are actually just like the light switch. And then these ones, I guess are a switch too, but they're the kind that like, I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about. They're like slightly more modernized, I guess. And it's not just like the little flickable switch. Like, I don't know. I'm horrible at explaining things, but those of you that have the clutter kit probably know what I'm talking about, but I just thought that they were slightly more modernized. So it would make more sense for a slightly renovated home and I'm just adding in a rug from I believe that's the paranormal stuff pack I love this rug the rug that I'm really loving too but I don't unfortunately own is one from the werewolves pack I'm just personally not a huge fan of occult sims so I just never got that pack I just didn't feel the need or the push to get it but it does have some really good build items in my opinion so I may eventually cave and get that in the near future as you can see, we just added in this portable crib here. When I had my son, if we had a two-story, I would have gotten or like set up our pack and play downstairs and napped him downstairs and then, you know, at night put him upstairs in our room with us. But we have a one story and I never needed him to have more than one bed other than like his crib in his room that he would nap in during the day and then his bassinet that he would sleep in next to us at night. And I was just thinking a bit realistically, I know there's a lot of people that do have two stories with like a really young baby. They do like to nap their baby close to them so you know on the lower level and especially when they're so little they kind of sleep through basically anything so if you had your really young baby almost like a newborn sleeping in the living room even with some lights on maybe the tv's on kind of low your baby often sleeps through stuff like that I mean every baby's different but from my own personal experience people that I know have done this and did it for months so I wanted to add in the little portable crib down here and I put some like baby decorations above it on like a little shelf but I did end up deleting it because it was causing some routing issues and it was just a bit crowded and the baby does have their own designated nursery so I felt it wasn't super necessary Plus, when I was playtesting here, my Sims kept putting the baby down for bed in the downstairs crib versus the crib that's upstairs in their nursery. So I just felt like it was a bit overkill. So I ended up getting rid of it. And you'll see that in the screenshots. It may be in one of the screenshots, but when you're actually like looking in that corner of one of the screenshots, it is not there. So I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. And then one other thing too, when I playtested here and I forgot to fix it, of course, the diaper pail is not reachable for your sims because it's just ever so slightly in the wall so that is the only thing you will need to fix um, if you do decide to download this build off of the gallery but as you can see we are in the baby's nursery and i decorated it a bit more on the feminine side and it worked out perfectly because the sims that i ended up moving in here after i was done with play testing ended up having a little girl so that worked out nicely but of course you can have any baby that you see suited suitable what that you see fit in here that yeah <laughs> I'm, I was gonna try to like say it again but I'm like I think I got my point across right you can have any baby in here but I'm just adding in some decor some clutter items that I know that we definitely use for our son we've got like you know little q-tips cotton balls lotion diaper rash cream wipes things like that and then just of course some cute decor because when you are on maternity leave maternity leave and you are in that nesting mode and you have everything already organized all you have left to do is just decorate and make everything look perfect so i definitely wanted to add in some little details like that in here and then i believe after we're in this room we hop over into I think the primary bedroom which i love the way the primary bedroom turned out i love the brand new double bed that came with the pack it comes with so many good swatches but specifically the swatch that i end up using in the primary bedroom is my personal favorite that may change over time as i get more familiar with some of the other swatches and i kind of mix and match packs and things like that but i love their bedroom i would personally 
love to have my bedroom decorated exactly like this even with this wallpaper I just love how it's you know like what's it called it's called board and batten I think where it's like the wallpaper above or paint above and then it's all like you know the really thick crown molding on the bottom half uh, it's just it looks so good and I feel like it really works out for a craftsman style build like this and I feel like if you were to go into a lot of older builds and homes in San Francisco or just in the Bay Area in general you would come across a lot of wallpapers or you know um, walls that look a lot like this I, I was gonna say wallpapers doesn't quite match because this is definitely not wallpaper I mean maybe the top portion would be wallpaper but obviously the actual wood portion is not does that make any sense <laughs> but yeah I love this bed and it goes really well with um the rugs that I just placed down which are from the nifty knitting pack wait yes that's from the nifty knitting pack and then um this mirror I think is also from the paranormal stuff pack so that goes really well the wood tone goes well the dresser that we end up using is from high school years and the side tables are from dream home decorator so all of the swatches just go so well together some people may feel it's a little bit of overkill but i don't often mix and match my wood tones i mean i do sometimes but that's more so like an eclectic build and i feel like this build maybe is slightly eclectic but overall it's not again I wouldn't really know what to call this build like style wise but I wouldn't necessarily say eclectic maybe a little bit on the boho sides I guess I don't know but this is what I imagine would be the guest bedroom but the family that I moved in the mom so the grandma of the baby ended up asking to move in and I was like why not that'll be fun just more people to like help out with the fam and whatnot and I feel like with the whole generations idea for this pack now I feel like it only makes sense to let good old grandma move on in she's not married or anything not sure if she's like a widow or what her situation is but she does not have a partner so moving in with her family and being very family oriented and being able to enjoy the arrival of her first grandchild would just be nice and it's obviously helpful for gameplay reasons as well infants can be hard to take care of this specific family their infant seems to be very easy because the baby likes to be held a lot so i just throw the baby in the back carrier and it stays happy the majority of the time and now we are decorating the upstairs bathroom we end up using the brand new shower tub combo which i am obsessed with it is so beautiful very modern but i love it i just think it's uh, i just think it's great <laughs> i really like the shower head it's you know like that um rainfall style shower head and we've got these beautiful gold fixtures once again and i mixed and matched it with the mirror i don't remember actually where that mirror is from i want to say laundry day but i feel like i could be incorrect but either way i think that this pack mixes and matches very well with some other packs so I was happy to do it at some point though I do want to do a more dedicated build so it's more accessible to other people I just recently got a comment on one of my previous videos maybe like a few weeks back where someone was like this build is amazing but there's way too many packs in it like I'm just assuming that this person didn't have a handful of the packs that I used so it made me feel a little bit bad but I mean I use a ton of packs in so many of my builds but often it's just like one little item that I grab for like cluttering purposes um, so it looks a bit daunting when you see all those packs listed below on the gallery but I do want to do just a specific um, growing together and base game only style build here pretty soon so again it is more accessible to everybody that doesn't have all these random packs and kits and things like that but now we're just landscaping with the live edit objects and again using my favorite hedges that I always line all of my builds with and I think we're getting close to the screenshots. So if you guys made it this far, thank you so much. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell so you're aware of future builds. Like I said, I'm going to definitely be doing more growing together content here soon. I also have a series going on on my channel called Filling New Crest, where I just quite literally fill New Crest with base game only builds. So if that's something that interests you, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell. And I hope to see you in a future build. Bye.
so bad about making all of this seem very inclusive for you guys so please comment down below if you have any comments or suggestions for any future builds i would love to hear from you guys if there's any specific lots a specific family you'd like me to build for whether it's a townie or just more specific like a single mom and her two boys or something like that i'm throwing ideas out there so just let me know in the comments down below because i'd love to hear from you guys